Dr. Wimberly, you are the founder and the director of the Youth Hope Builders Academy. And you've just shared a, a lovely summary of the whole people of God and our roles here, our vocations to care for and affirm one another. This must be at the center of your Youth Hope Builders Academy. How, how does affirmation relate to your vision of hope? Yes, affirmation is the embodiment of hope. And that's the way we really assure hope for our youth and ourselves for today and tomorrow. And of course, we have a scripture in the academy that becomes the scripture for our youth who come back and tell us that that got me through many a difficult situation. And I'll tell you, I can recall one young man in the academy uh, who raised his hand when the question was asked, who would like to lead the scripture uh, for today? And he was waving his arms so ferociously, uh, he was called upon and he got up to the podium and said in the most deep, earnest voice, for surely I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for harm, to give you and you and you and you and you, pointing to everybody, you a future with hope. Now he got the message and he was not going to be quiet about the message. And I think that passage from Jeremiah 29, 11 is an apt one for all of us to remember that when we honor our youth by seeing them as gifts, when we learn from them, when we affirm them, when we really become the body of Christ, we model that scripture of hope for all of us.